वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द फंक्शंस दैट इज ऑन कंपोजिशंस ऑफ फंक्शंस सो नाउ व्हाट इज द कंपोजिशंस ऑफ फंक्शंस कंपोजिशन ऑफ फंक्शंस इफ वी हैव द टू फंक्शंस एफ एंड जी देन व्हाट इज द कंपोजिशन वी डिड नॉट द कंपोजिशन ऑफ फंक्शंस लाइक एफ composition g this is f o g we can say that f o g f o g means that f composition g so how to calculate f composition g with any x variable so f composition g x means that f g x means like we have the function f x so x is the domain of that so here in f composition g x that is f g x so g x is the domain of this function f suppose we have here two functions f x and g x f function in terms of x that is 2 x plus 3 g function in terms of x that is 3 x plus 2 so now what is g 1 means if we put here x equal to 1 so what is the value of g 1 when we put here x equal to 1 so this is become 3 plus 2 that is equal to 5 so now g1 is 5 now fx fx here we calculate f composition g means fgx right so first we calculate gx then fgx so our gx when we put here x equal to 1 then g1 is 5 so now f5 if we suppose put here f5 5 here so it become 5 to 10 plus 3 13 right so what is this this f composition g 1 here x is 1 this is f of g1 means first we calculate g1 so g1 is our 5 then we calculate f5 so f5 is 13 so this 13 this is the value of the f composition g so this is fog1 value clear next composition of functions how to define this here we have the three sets a b and c and a uh, g function is the set from a to b and f function is the uh, f is the function from set b to c so now if we have an element a in the set a so this is the g function from a to b so g a this is the image in b this is the uh, image of the uh, variable of the value a g a now now here this is the b to c set we have the f function so now our f g a now f g a is work for the domain of the f function so this is our the f g a so like this is called the f composition g of a so we say that f composition g a to c so our f composition g is the uh, function from a to c clear let's suppose here we have the two functions fx and gx here we consider earlier that fx is 2x plus 3 and gx is 3x plus 2 and our sets are real all real sets are there so now this is the g function from r to r this is the f function from r to r and now suppose we take here one uh, element one in our the domain of g so this is g1 means this is the range of g1 when we put here one so we'll get 5 so g1 equal to 5 now this 5 now this 5 is our the domain of the f function so f5 when we put here x equal to 5 then we will get 13 and it is it's get uh, we get here the f g1 so this is called the f composition g at 1 clear f f o g from r to r so now what is our f g x suppose this is the 
calculation for if we consider any value any numerical value of our x suppose uh, we have a function in x so what is gx first we calculate gx right so our gx is 3x plus 2 now f of gx so this complete gx is our x for f right so we put here x in place of x in f function 2 and x in place of x we have to put the value of gx and what is the value of gx that is 3x plus 2 so we have to put here 3x plus 2 plus 3 so now when we solve this equation we get 6x plus 7 so this 6x plus 7 is the value of the f composition gx clear next uh, okay, when we calculate f of gx and g of fx, meet b to b is equal. f gx equal to g fx. Does it it equal? No. Let's check here. If we have suppose we consider earlier consider our function fx is 2x plus 3 and gx is 3x plus 2. So now first we calculate f of gx. When we calculate f of gx in earlier slide, we get 6x plus 7. Now we calculate g of fx. What is the meaning of g of fx? G of fx means first we need to calculate fx, then this fx. Uh, when we calculate our g of fx so this fx are the domain of our g so now for calculating g of fx we have to consider this and here x in place of x we have to put the value of fx so our value of fx is 2x plus 3 so now when we put here 3 2x plus 3 plus 2 then we calculate this this becomes 6x plus 11 and here we see that our f of g is 6x plus 7 and g of fx is 6x plus 11 both are unequal right so we can say that our function composition is not commutative clear let's take an example for the composition of the functions here our one set x is uh, elements are 1 2 3 4 y set has the elements a b c d e and z set has the elements u v w and here we defined our two functions f and g f function is defined x to y and g function is defined y to z so now f function is given the ordered pair elements are 1 b 2 a 3 d 4 e and g is given a u b u c v d w and e v so now we have a need to find here g of fx so how to calculate this g of fx so here you need to calculate x so what is the meaning of g of fx what you calculate here you have not the function of x here you have the f and g functions are in terms of ordered pair right in terms of relation so x means that g of fx means you need to calculate for all values of x set means 1 2 3 4 x has, has the values 1 2 3 4 so g of fx means here you have to calculate g of f1 g of f2 g of f3 and g of f4 right so now first we calculate g of f of 1 so when we calculate this it means that g of fx means g of fx so first we need to calculate f1 so what is f1 here here we have not the function in x here we have this so what is the value of f1 what is the value of f1 b right because this is in our function this is the domain and this is the range so domain is our x and do, uh, range is our fx so here x if our x is 1 then the range of fx is b right so what is f1 f1 is our b so we put here f1 b so now gb so what is the value of gb what is the value of gb u because if our x is b then gb image of b is u so this is gb equal to u clear next next what we calculate g of f2 so what is g of f2 g of f2 means we need to calculate g f2 and what is the f2 f2 is our 
A. The image of 2 is in F is A. So, G F 2 is A. So, now G A. What is the image of A in G? Image of A in G is U. So, G A is our U. Clear? Next, we calculate G O F 3. So, what is the F 3? F 3. Image of 3 is D. So, F 3 is D. G D. What is the value of G D? What is the image of D in G? W. So, this is W. G O F 4. So, what is the 4? Means F 4. What is the F 4? That is E. So, we put here F 4 E. So, G E. What is the value of G E? Means the image of E in G function. That is V. So, that is V. Clear? So, like that we find our G of F X. X means we have to calculate for all elements of the X. The value of G O F. Clear? So, what is our GOF? We say that our GOF, because in terms of uh, our functions are given in terms of ordered pair, so our solution GOF of X, it will be in the form of ordered pair elements that will be 1U. What is 1U? Because G, for GOF, this is our X, right? And this is the image of GOF, right? This is the image of GOF. So, GOF is 1U. GOF, uh, second order pair element is 2U, 3W and 4V. So, like that we have the GOF is this. Clear? Now, let's take an, another example. Here, we have the function F real to real and function f is given here in terms of x 3x plus 4 and g function is real to real is given that in terms of x that is gx equal to x square so now here we have to find gofx fogx fofx and gogx all combinations we need to find here so first we calculate g of fx so g of fx means g fx and what is the value of fx fx is the function 3x plus 4 so put here 3x plus 4 so now you you have to concentrate here actually this is gx 3x plus 4 so now uh, in terms of g this complete 3x plus 4 is like our x right and what is the function of g what is this is the function of g is x square so in place of x we have to put this complete value 3x plus 4 right so what is our gx x square so our x is now here this is 3x plus 4 so x square means 3x plus 4 whole square clear so this is the value of g of fx clear Okay, so now next we calculate FOGX. So when we calculate FOGX, so that is F of GX and GX. What is GX? X square. So now we put here GX, X square. So now FX square. So how to calculate FX square? Means in place of X here in F, we have X square. So where we have X, we have to put X square, right? So now our function is 3X square plus clear so this is the value of fogx clear okay next we need to calculate fofx fofx means f of fx so first we calculate fx fx is our given 3x plus 4 now again we have to apply fx and this now in this time this 3x plus 4 we have to put here in place of x we have to put 3x plus 4 so now 3 and in place of this x we have to put 3x plus 4 3x plus 4 plus 4 when we calculate this we will get 9x plus 16 so this value is for fofx next we need to calculate gogx gogx means g of gx so first we put here gx that is x square so now what is gx square gx square so we have to put here in place of x x square so if when we put here in place of x square so x square the whole square so it is x to the power 4 so this is the value of gogx clear how to calculate our fog gof fof and gog okay so now let's take an another example here 
here we have the three sets a b c in which the elements are a b c x y z and r s t and f function is defined from a to b and g function is defined from b to c and f is given that in ordered pair elements a y b x c y and g is given the ordered pair elements x s y t z r so now what we find here here we need to find the g o f and what is g o f that is from a to c so when we calculate this g o f what is here nothing is given that g o f you need to find g o f a b c x if you have no uh, nothing is given that only given that you have to find g o f it means that and it is clear that you have to find g o f is a to c means you have to consider a a set elements is your domain and c set elements are your codomain right so uh g o f uh what is what are the elements in a set that is a b c it means that to calculate the g o f you need to calculate g o f a g o f b g o f c for all elements of a you have to calculate g o f right so now first we calculate g o f a g o f a means g of f a and what is f a f a what is the image of a in f that is y so g f a is y now g y what is the value of g y means what is the value of image of y in g that is t so its value is t next we need to calculate g o f b so g o f b means g of f b and what is f b b image in f is x so we put here x so g x what is the value of g x that is s next we need to calculate g o f c g o f c means g of f c and what is f c f c means the image of c in f that is y so f c is y so g y what is the value of g y means we have to check the image of y in g that is t so its value is t next in the second part and what is the g o f our completely g o f in terms of ordered pair that is this is our domain this is our range so a t b s and c t so this is our g o f clear now in the second part we have to calculate image of f or range of f image and range both are same right so we can say image or we can say range so image of uh, f image of g and image of g o f we need to find here so first we calculate uh, we draw here three sets a b c a set has the element a b c b set has the elements x y z and c has the elements r s t so now here a is related to y here this is the function of f a to b and g's function b to c so a is related to y here a is related to y b is related to x so b is related to x c is related to y so c is related to y next in g function x is related to s so x is related to s y is related to t so y is related to t z is related to r so z is related to r now here we calculate image of f so what is the range or image of f range what is the range it uh, <coughs> range of f is that we have the those elements of the codomain which has the pre image right so here what is the range of f range of f is x y because z has not the pre image so this is not the range range of the f is only x y clear next we need to calculate image of g image of g means the range of g and what is the range of g all image has the pre image right so our image of g is r s t now image of g o f what is the g o f g o f we have a t b s c t right so what is the image of g o f that is s t image of g f is s t right because here you see that the image are t s t so only s and t elements are there so image of g o f is s t clear okay so now 
again next we have the relations with functions means what is the difference and what is the relation and between relations and the function and how it is difference uh, uh, relations and functions so again here we have we need to remember that what is the relation and what is the function so first we remember this a relation is a set of ordered pairs right suppose we have the ordered pair is this 2 3 minus 1 5 4 minus 2 9 9 0 minus 6 so now this is a relation right we say that this is a relation if we have the ordered pair element so we say that this is a relation now what is the domain here the domain is the set of all x values in the relation these x values are all the domains these green x so we write our domain is minus 1 0 2 4 9 and x values we write in the uh, smallest to largest form right minus 1 0 2 4 9 and here what is the range the range is the set of all y values in the relation right so y values are here minus 6 2 3 5 9 and we also arrange in the terms of lower to high means smallest to largest number so this is our the range so this is the <coughs> relation right next uh, here we have the domain in the relation we have the domain and the range domain is the set of all x's and range is the set of all y's so a relation assigns the x's and with y's right so here suppose we have this 1 is related to 6 2 is related to 2 3 is related to 4 4 is related to 8 5 is related to 10 then what is the relation the relation here is 1 to 6 2 2 3 4 4 8 5 10 then so any type of relations between domain and the codomain elements that is the relation clear next come to the point function what is the function a function f from set a to b is a rule of correspondence that assigns to each element x in the set a exactly one element y in the set b uh, is clear okay so now let's uh, briefly discuss about this so here we have the two sets set a and set b set a is the domain and set b is are the range suppose set a has the elements 1 2 3 4 5 and set b is the range 2 4 6 8 10 10 so now what is the definition what is the definition says of the function that each element x what's the sign each element x in the set a so must use all the x's each element of x means we have to consider each element of the domain that will be the function and second thing is that exactly one element y in the set b the set a exactly one element in the set b the x value can only be assigned to one y right means uh, the all values of x x value can be assigned only one y not that uh, one value of x has the two values of y right exactly one element of y like that suppose we have one is to 4 4 is to 8 2 is to 2 5 is to 6 and 3 is to 10 so now here we see that all x are assigned here you see that all x are assigned no elements are remaining here so must all x is so this is the uh, definition of the function first thing is that must use all the x is second thing is that no x has more than one y assigned you can see each x has the different Uh, images right no ha no uh, element is such the, which has the two images right so this type of function it is are the function so uh, what is the conclusion conclusion is that the function has the two property it must be has all the x's in the domain and all x values only be assigned the one y not the two y right
let's look at another relation and decide it is a function or not so here we have the set a domain and set b the range so now if we have the relation is like that yeah this one is related to four four is to four four is to five and three is to four four five is to four so now is this will be a relation uh, sorry relation is always relation every ordered pair we have the relation right so is this a function so you can we can check that this is a function all x are assigned here first we check our first condition was first condition was function that all x should be there so all x has assigned the values so it is right that all we use all the x's next next definition next uh, definition of the function is that no x has more than a one y so here all x has the one y no uh, x has the two values of y right so it fulfill the second condition also so this is our the function right it may be that more uh, one or two or three uh, all x all x has the same uh, image but it's not possible that one x has the two images right in the function otherwise it's not the function so here what see say that the second condition says each x has only one y but it can be same y as another x gets assigned to right next suppose we take an example that you can relate to a, is a student in our maths class this semester are set a this is our set a that is the students of maths class and the grade they earned out of class is set b each student must assign a grade and can only be assigned one grade right but more than one student can get the same grade so we hope so we want lots of a's right because two students two or three has students have the same grade right but one student can't get two grades no one student gets only one type of grade no one student is has that grade is two also and that grade is four also right so this example shows are the relation uh, function so here suppose 1 is 2 2 is to 10 3 is to 8 and 4 is to 6 and 5 is to 4 so and 2 is to 4 so now uh, what is that is the relation shown above a function it shows the function no this not shows the function why why is not show the function because here you see that here we see that can only be assigned one grade one student can assign the one grade and you can see here two has the grade four and five is also uh sorry two is all two has the four grade and two is also the 10 grade is it possible no it is not possible that one student has the two grades okay so here this is not the function because here two was assigned both four and ten and it is not possible for the function so you can take this example in your mind set in your mind if you know what is the function so you said that if we take the students and in a one set and we take the grades in the second set so one student can't get the two grades right uh, but it's possible that uh, two or more students gets the same grade so this is your function so uh, clear now what is the uh, function and how to define the function i think now it's clear so now check this relation again how to determine if it is a function so here we check that our relation is this type 1 is to 6 4 is to 4 2 is to 2 5 is to 10 so this will be a function so here it is not the function why because here you see one two four five but three three one element is remaining in our domain and our first condition is not fulfill of the function that all x we have to include but here three is not included so it is not the function right because here three is not included so this is not the function next to check this is a function or not here we have three is to two 1 is to 6, 4 is to 4, 2 is to 2, and 5 is to 10. Is this a function? 
so you can check that this is fine each student gets only one grade here each student gets the one grade and more than one can get a and why one don't have to give any d's so all y's don't need to be used so it is not compulsory that we have used all y's but in function we have to use all x's so is it is a function r clear the definition of the function now i think so what is the difference between relation and function in function no element of domain suppose a can have more than one image in codomain clear i think in last exam uh, from last examples you clear what is the function and what is the relation and in relation any element in set a can have more than one image in set b so and one more thing in function that every element of set must have an image in set b right so we say that every function is a relation but not vice versa means we can say that every function is a relation but every relation can't be a function clear okay so now thank you today's lecture is completed now be happy be healthy